What's going on my dudes? One step here with the ultimate Mortal Kombat 1 cameo character week one tier list. Take it one step at a time. Subscribe here for more fighting game content and let's jump into this cameo tier list. After doing a guide on every single one of these cameo characters, I feel like I have a pretty valid and also really good base understanding of how these cameos work and how they affect the game and all the other characters and what they offer to your playstyle as a cameo and kind of who's better than others, man. I feel like some cameos here are just, uh, as you see here, what we have our best are just the best cameos. They offer so many good tools for every character. We got strong because they're just good, strong cameos. You know, we got okay because they're, they're like whatever. And then we got weak that just you probably won't ever use. And I don't want to hear somebody in the comments like, well, actually, did you know that if you use Goro with Sub Zero, it's actually S tier? I don't this I don't really care about like the combinations. This is just the cameo as a base cameo character, what they offer with moveset, and what tools they bring to the table. That's what matters most. So without further ado, let's not waste your time. Let's get into this cameo character tier list for Mortal Kombat 1. First, we have Cyrax. Oh my god, I think Cyrax is probably, he's up there, man. He's got to be one of the best, dude. He really, I mean, he offers a net for combo extension, the helicopter for combo extension. He's got the pressure with his uh, forward cameo move. He's got a lot of stuff that I feel like almost any character in Mortal Kombat 1 can just benefit from. It's really good. After playing around more and more with Darius, I think he's strong. I don't think he's one of the best, but I think he's a really strong. He offers an overhead to characters that don't have it. He offers a cameo move that, though he uses the full bar of it, awesome combo extension, and just a good wake up. I, I don't think he's one of the best, but I think he's a really strong cameo for sure. I think Frost, honestly, is just one of the best. People gonna argue with me on that. I think she's so good. I think having the ability to hit your opponent low, not just like mid or high, an actual lower overhead mix up and then freeze them for combo extension is massive. The low freeze is just absolutely insane. It goes with any character, it combo extends for any character, and then her bad cameo, that ice ball is so good for pressure. It allows a lot of characters to do their ability if they need to. Makes your opponent not want to approach you and second guess how they're going to get in there. Those two moves alone make Frost, in my opinion, yeah, one of the best cameos for sure. Goro, I think, is okay. I don't think he's, you know, super weak or super the best. I think his grab is good for combo extension, but a lot of cameras offer that as well. His unblockable stomp, though it's good, uses the entire bar gauge and easy to defend against. A lot of characters are good just to get in there. They can use their camera to teleport. It's just, like, it's not bad. I like his combo extension, whatever, but I feel, like, I feel like other cameos offer that same utility for just better. I think Kano is actually strong, and here's why. Kano's knives are good for combo extension, obviously, but his laser eye, when you end a combo with the laser eye, it actually restands your opponent kind of negating their ability to do a wake up attack on you. So kind of restands them, puts you at full screen most of the time. And a lot of characters like that spacing, you know, they don't get a wake up attack. So Kano with the combo extension and that is honestly, I don't think it's one of the best, but I do think it's really strong. Yeah, I think Jax, I'm biased here probably, but I love Jax. I think he's one of the best. I really do. I think Jax is so freaking good for combo extension, for good damage. He throws at the unblockable. Yeah, it hits you, but it's really good for pressure. Like you throw it out there. And your opponent is almost forced to jump, allowing you to either do an anti-air or catch them in the air with a combo. He's got some really good stuff that just make for some fun gameplay for almost all the characters. I think Kung Lao's cameo is really strong. He offers a teleport for mobility for characters that need it, a low hitting projectile for characters that need a projectile, an awesome combo extension with his like spitting move. Oh my gosh, that's three tools in a single cameo. I would put him in the best, but even though the teleport is really good, I don't think that some of the characters benefit the most off of it. It's a good utility, but characters like Raiden don't need it. But Kung Lao is like between the best and strong. I, I think he's a really strong cameo. I'm gonna put Motaro in the same category for the same reason the teleport's really good you can reflect your opponent's projectiles as well he, he gives you projectiles and that's good pressure to do your ability i think mataro is a really strong cameo all around that a lot of characters can benefit from i like mataro a lot i think serena i can't i know <laughs> everyone in the comments like well everyone uses serena she's the best and i think she is one of the best i really do but not for the reasons that you might think i think she's one of the best because she's got good com combo extension but her forward cameo is a really fast projectile, which a lot of characters need a projectile, you know, Johnny Cage. Even Rain benefits from a fast projectile, but also the ability to completely deplete your opponent's meter is also just so, it's just so good. It's just a really good tool that is good for any character, any fight. Basically taking away your opponent's ability to do a breaker, enhance their moves. Like I prefer Serena's meter depletion move over her combo extension. That's how good that move really is. I think Scorpion is also one of the best. He offers three amazing tools. Combo extension with his like, you know, fire breath that almost any character can just benefit from. And also the armored pull you back. Pulls you back to full screen, which again, a lot of characters love that spacing and you just kind of get that 
automatically. And then his forward cameo is an overhead that if hit is a combo extender as well. And it's an overhead. So a lot of characters need that help with the mix up. They might want the spacing for full screen to get the combo extension. Scorpion is one of the best cameos. I love him so much. I think Sector is good. I think he's strong. I think he's between okay and strong. I, I mean, I kind of want in the middle here, uh, lower strong because the teleport though good, easy to see coming. You have to have the right combo to make it fit. I think he's strong for one of the main reasons actually his fire move does what Kano does and it restands your opponent, you know, negating their ability to do a wake up attack on you. And that is really good to end combos with, giving you the pressure back to, you know, allowing you to do your mix ups and go from there. So homing missile, though it's good, again, you see it coming. It's not, it's not I mean, it's not like the ter it's not the worst move ever. It's not, it's not terrible, I like it. So that, that's kind of why I want him between the okay and strong. I think he's a strong cameo, but I think it could be better in some aspects. Should Jinko, here's the thing. I think should Jinko, potentially long term is going to be one of the best i think he's gonna be one of the best because he's gonna be able to do anything your opponent can do you know with scorpion he gets the pull back he gets the the, you know, the freaking spinning flaming knife thing he, he, he takes those moves from your opponent but it takes you as a character to understand that and learn shajinko and then kind of just wing it off who your opponent is right now i think he's okay i think most of the time you're going to want to choose a cameo that really benefits you and who you're playing and shajinko's like f it we're just going to find out who my opponent is and go from there uh, but again long term i think shajinko has the potential to be one of the best because of that reason i just think out the gate he's one of the more okay options i kind of want to put him in a week but he's not necessarily weak he's just a bit hard to get the hang of and is more of a surprise cameo than anything i think sonya is really strong i think she's really because the you know she offers the first of all she offers the air combo extension and some characters like sindel and reiko really benefit from that because a lot of characters their air combos either don't bounce your opponent back up or they don't extend into something else and sonya gives you that option to air combo extend land before your opponent doesn't continue the ground combo huge she offers a projectile for those characters that don't have one and she offers combo extension so honestly she's got some good stuff i think striker is also really strong i want to put him on the best but i don't think he is i think he's just a really strong cameo he offers you know an overhead and a low and that's great for characters that don't have that mix-up option he offers combo extension with the grenade and then he offers the restands like sector and kano do and with the cuff move he restands your opponent negating their ability to do wake up attack which again is huge i like striker a lot i actually want to use him more often now that we're talking about I'm like oh yeah he's pretty good and then sub-zero is ah oh, man i want to put him in the best but i think he's just another strong cameo i think frost might be a bit better for certain characters because sub-zero offers you that tool to make you projectile invulnerable allowing you to be full screen essentially and do your ability you know using Ostra to go dark to light johnny cage getting his hype gauge up stuff like that with also the ability to freeze your opponent in mid-air combos and that's just really good i think having a low option with frost is just a bit better and i like the pressure she offers with the orb but he's in between best and strong for sure he's a really good cameo so with the tier list done i did not expect this but we didn't really put any of the cameos in the weak category so i think all of them are viable in certain situations but i do think there are better cameos than others just for what they offer as a cameo you know whether it be combo extension the tools they bring to the table with utility wise but again i also think it depends on who you're playing this is just like the base cameo character but these are just my thoughts guys let me know down below where did your cameo that you use the most end up on this tier list do you agree with it do you disagree with it let me know your thoughts down below subscribe here for more mortal kombat content and take it one step at a time